Hello to Wednesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you here with us on YouTube and welcome to those who are joining on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As we normally do, we'll give people just a few more seconds to join us. During this time, we can settle ourselves as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. God's love has flooded our hearts. Through the Holy Spirit, he has given us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. We now turn to the Psalms and today I'm going to read Psalm 38. It says, O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me, and your hands have come down upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no health in my body. My bones have no soundness because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me, like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All of my longings lie open before you, O Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds. My strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbours stay away far, far away. Those who seek my life set their traps. Those who would harm me talk of my ruin. All day long they plot deception. I am like a deaf man who cannot hear, like a mute who cannot open his mouth. I have become like a man who does not hear, whose mouth can offer no reply. I wait for you, O Lord. You will answer, O Lord my God. For I said, Do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me when my foot slips. For I am about to fall, and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. Many are those who are my vigorous enemies. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who repay my good with evil slander me when I pursue what is good. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Saviour. Amen. Now we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen amen now we continue reading from Luke's Gospel, 
reading from chapter 17 from verse 1 and it says Jesus said to his disciples things that cause people to sin are bound to come but woe to that person through whom they come it would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a millstone tied round his neck than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin so watch yourselves Amen. It's the word of God. Now we turn to, to God in a time of prayer. We use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence, where we can bring to God the things that are on our hearts, on our minds, and the prayers, and the things that God lays on our hearts. Let us pray together. God of peace and protection, we put our trust in you alone at all times and in every circumstance we want to follow the way of your son who was moved to compassion as he looked upon the world around him therefore we come before you now to ask for your help and your intervention in your great mercy hear our continuing prayers in the midst of the challenges of our day. We pray in silence.
We continue together. Help us, your people, O Lord, to act with faith and wisdom. May the peace of Christ that passes all understanding enable us to be peacemakers and bring peace to others. As Jesus served the most needy and most vulnerable, help us to serve those around us with love. When we have the opportunity to help, enable us to do it. When we need to make sacrifices, give us the courage to do so. When we ourselves are threatened, give us the grace to trust in you. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Amen. God, the wellspring of our life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace, that, refreshed by you, we may live this day in steadfast reliance on your strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, and of Christ who summons us to service, and of the Holy Spirit who inspires generosity and love, be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. We hope to see you again soon and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.